Today I'm going to share with you the summary of new features on eBay. So you don't want to miss this. everyone thank you for tuning in <laughs> if you don't know who I am I'm Cindy Krause with Krause House Sift and Thrift I've been on YouTube um, not quite two years and I've been an eBay seller for 21 years so my channel is all about educating you as the soon-to-be reseller or current reseller about tips tricks and topics to grow your reselling business and I have to admit that I haven't really filmed when it's nighttime before and I've got this glaring flash in my eyes. So I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, okay, you guys, I was noticing that there's some new things going on with eBay and I thought I'd share them with you in case you hadn't noticed or you didn't know. And um, one of them is that eBay has just added 24 photos, meaning you can upload 24 photos into your listings. It was always 12 photos before, but they recently changed that. And I just started noticing, I was able to look, upload more photos and then I looked and said up to 24 photos. I'm like, yes because sometimes I have more than 12 photos I want to upload. Now, probably won't ever be uploading 24 photos, but it's nice to have the option. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just kind of did a little printout of what's new on eBay because um, I was happy to find out about this information. So I thought you might be happy to know as well. Now, if you know it, you feel free to skip to the end of the video or skip through this to the parts you don't know. I'm kind of being blinded by this flash on my camera. Like I said, I don't film at night. I don't think I ever have, <laughs> maybe once. And um, I'm kind of seeing spots right now. <laughs> but at least the lighting's good and you can see me because I filmed some videos where I look like I was in the dark, almost. All right, well, yeah, um, eBay has allowed sellers to upload up to 24 images. Um, um, previously, it was 12 images. And um, you could also upload videos. I have tried to do that, but um, I think I tried it when eBay just started that feature and it didn't really work. But I would recommend you upload videos in the instances if you have an item, let's say it's a toy and it's musical, um, or it dances, or, or it talks, um, that's really good to put a photo, a photo. It's really good to put a video, upload that to eBay so the potential buyers can see what this item actually does. Now, like I said, I haven't really done it before. I tried it once, it didn't really work. But I have heard of people doing this and um, that, you know, I believe that it would help you get the sale because the person or persons interested in your item could actually see what the, like I said, the toy or whatever it is does. And, um, you know, I, I might be doing that in the future, but I usually don't have a problem selling musical toys. I just sold a Hallmark Jingle Pals for 20 bucks and it sings and dances and moves around. Um, those I never have a problem selling. Sold about five or six of them over the years. So be on the lookout for those. Um, I'm just gonna scroll down this really quick. Like I said, I'm seeing spots, so I hope I could read this. Um, also, shipping labels for items sold through authenticity guaranteed. Now, if you use that service, which I never have, it's usually for sneakers to authenticate through eBay. Um, you now can print labels if you use that service. The other one is a new eBay International Shipping Program, or EIS. 
eBay will migrate sellers from global shipping program to the new program, eBay International Shipping. Uh, one big change is that the buyers will have the choice to pay. Oh gosh, it got cut off. Um, anyway, uh, what it will do is eBay will handle returns through the, it can handle returns through this program. It just sounds like an upgrade on the global shipping program. And I don't know if you guys have used global shipping. I've never used it. I've always um, just shipped regular international. I've either done international standard shipping or international priority mail. And have you guys noticed less international sales? I used to get quite a bit of international sales and I've gotten hardly any lately. It's mostly just local sellers or sellers within the US. And I think it has a lot to do with the economy. The fact that we're in a recession and that international buyers just don't want to pay high shipping costs. And, you know, I don't blame them. But I sure miss those international buyers. I hope they will come back. Um, for me, anyway, maybe you guys don't have an issue with that. Okay, another eBay new thing is payments, payments and payouts. And um, so now... Um, eBay revised, re, they reviewed their scheduled payouts and it's on domain payouts feature. Um, not only, and I've talked about this before, it's not just through the bank account. You could do it through a Visa or MasterCard debit card. And I actually did a video on this not too long ago where you can get paid instantly. So if you guys are just set up with managed payments through your bank, I highly recommend you um, upload the information so you can start using your debit card, meaning eBay will use your debit card and send you payouts. I've gotten payouts seven days a week, including Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I don't know about holidays. Um, there's only been like one holiday since I've been signed up for this. So that I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure if you get a pay on Christmas. Probably not because the bank's not open. But I've been very, very happy with this. I've been getting payouts almost every single day. And it's just really nice. I use my eBay money to pay for gas and groceries and sometimes bills. But my husband has a full-time job, so most of his um, paychecks go towards paying bills. But I have paid bills with my payouts before and it's really nice. Um, okay, another thing is, gosh, it's so hard to see. They announced spendable funds. Oh, I've noticed this. Um, eBay will say, let's say my payout is $50. eBay will put in your app or on your screen, you have $50 to spend. Um, you know, like if you want to buy a Christmas gift or you want to buy something for yourself, instead of getting the payout sent to you, um, in the form of money, you could spend it on something on eBay. Well, it's kind of nice. I don't think I would use that very often, but maybe if I need some, you know, something on eBay or I want to buy a gift, it is kind of nice to use that. Instead of waiting for it to go to your bank account and use it, you can actually use your payouts. So you guys might be interested in that. Um, so make sure you check that out when you look on your eBay app or your seller hub because I've seen that already where they say, use this, your payout money, whatever that amount is, to purchase something. Well, that's pretty smart of eBay because, you know, that just gives them more sales. <laughs> okay, reducing unpaid items with a medium payment on best offers. Is this what I think it is? Um, eBay will be collecting payment information buyers doing the best offer submission flow to once a seller flow. So once a seller accepts an offer, eBay processes the payment, reducing unpaid items. Some buyers already are in a pilot program, which we wrote about last year and eBay will ramp it up after the holidays. So I don't know if they're going to do, they're saying immediate payment. If that's what I think it is, that's, a long awaited feature us sellers have been waiting for, or at least a lot of us. Um, you know, eBay gives um, currently, unless it's changed, 
eBay makes sellers, um, gives sellers up to four days to pay for the item, which I think is unacceptable. Any other platform, you've got to pay immediately or within a certain, maybe 24 hours. eBay gives somebody four days. It used to be longer, it used to be like 10 days. And thank God they shortened it to four. And you know, I just had somebody not pay me. Um, they took two days to pay me and they did pay me. And I shipped their item out today. I mean, that's not too bad, but you know, I'd like to get immediate payment. So I'm not sure if this is what they're talking about. They said immediate pay, oh, payout on best offer. So I don't think they've gotten there yet where they're ready to make the buyer pay you immediately when they purchase something. But I'm looking forward to that happening when it happens. Parts and accessories. Um, they're rolling out a new experience of parts and accessories, which is one of eBay's largest categories by bringing fitment front and center fitment. I'm not sure what that is. Um, improving on how search users use fitment, um, new seller facing employees. Um, uh, I guess, att oh, att this is from eBay open, by the way. Attendees got to meet some new employees. Oh, well, that doesn't really apply here. <laughs> Category and item specifics changes. Um, eBay announced that category and item specific changes are usually, um, it's part of the fall seller update. I guess they're going to be announcing the more detail in the fall seller update. I know that doesn't really uh, affect you guys, but, um, and let's like stay tuned for details on that. Those are just some of the things that I've read about and I've noticed that eBay has rolled out, so to speak, for sellers. Um, I will say the good and the bad about eBay with those type of things, they aren't always ahead of the curve. They're not always the first one to implement needed changes or needed rules or needed policies. Um, sometimes we're behind the curve on that sometimes because they were one of the last, um, venues to do managed payments. Other venues were doing them, you know, like Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook marketplace, that kind of thing. Um, they were ahead of the curve on that and that's fine. I don't really complain about that because I loved PayPal where I got paid instantly, but I got used to managed payments. eBay did roll that out a couple of years ago. And they just now uh, recently implemented that debit card feature where you get paid every day instead of waiting a couple of days for your bank to get, you know, put the payment in your checking account. This way it goes uh, through your debit card and you get the funds instantly. Um, so, you know, eBay is great. They are always trying to implement things, but they don't always implement them right away. Sometimes it takes them a while, like this feature with um, allowing buyers to pay within four days. That's That's gotta go. <laughs> They've got, and eventually I believe it will. They keep saying they're working on it. I, I don't know what the holdup is. I think it's, they wanna get the buyer four days to pay because they don't wanna lose that buyer. Well, a buyer is no business purchasing an item on eBay if they have no intention of paying or they're going to take four days to pay or to even not pay at all. Um, because after four days, eBay just closes, you know, the sale, I guess. Um, yeah. And ends the sale and cancels the sale, I guess it was what it is. And your item gets relisted, but you know, four days, without me or these other sellers receiving a payment from somebody is too long. You know, I could have sold that to somebody else in that time, but my money was my, yeah, my money was being held up because this item shows that it's sold to another person or to a person who had no intention of paying or couldn't pay for whatever reason. So I'm happy it's been reduced from the 10 days to the four days, but I'll be looking forward to when eBay requires everybody to pay immediately once purchasing an item or canceling and re canceling the sale and relisting my item so another buyer can get it. How has sales been going for you guys? I had a run on, oh my gosh, I for a few days I was giving my husband two full bags of 
items that I sold on eBay. Today was the first kind of slower day. Maybe I only had a sale or two today. Um, I did do a little experiment. I had all my items uh, promoted at 5%. I went down to 3%. That might have something to do with it. If my sales continue to be slow, I'll put them all back at the 5%. Um, and, you know, promoted listings can be controversial. I like them. I've, I've been told that if you sell rare items or you're, you know, just starting out and you don't have that many items, you don't have to promote your listings. I, I like promoting my listings. I want to give what I list the best possible chance of selling the quickest possible time. So if you don't promote, you're not going to be on that sponsored, you know, it's not going to say sponsored, um, which eBay will make that on the page look bigger. I'll say sponsored and they kind of put it at the very top of the page. So it's like front and center. So people could see that, um, you know, if you're not promoting, you know, things still sell, even though you don't promote, I've sold things that have not promote been promoted, but most of my items sell because I promote and you guys could look at your, a page and seller hub that shows all your sales and eBay will show you whether it's sold because it was promoted or not promoted. And I'll tell you the fees that came out of it. Yes, you do have to pay extra fees when you promote through eBay, but to me that's worth it because I'm getting the sale mo uh, usually faster and that gives me a chance to, you know, just sell, sell, sell instead of my adding sitting there for a while and not getting seen and not getting promoted. So I personally love promoted listings. It's up to you. If you decide not to have eBay take out fees for promoting your item and you wanna save your money, that's fine. But just keep in mind that maybe your item won't sell right away. Now, I do agree that if it's a rare item, um, hardly anybody else is selling it on eBay or maybe nobody else is selling on eBay, don't promote. And, you know, because your item's going to sell um, without it being promoted and you don't have to pay the fees to eBay. And when the item is more, like if I have a $100 item out there, I don't always want to promote at 5%. That's a big chunk that's taken out of, you know, um, profit for me. Um, sometimes I promote at 3 or 2% um, or not at all. It just depends. And this is stuff you're going to learn along the way as you grow your business and decide what are the best decisions for your business. But I'm just here to help you guys out, give you information, share with you my experience, what I've gone through. So maybe you don't have to um, experience the same, I don't want to say failures, make the same mistakes as me. That's better. <laughs> Nobody's a failure. And, um, you know, if you make a mistake, you learn from it. So that's not a failure. That's a good thing, actually. So um, I'm so excited the holidays are coming up. You know, Thanksgiving's coming up and, and usually for me, I mean, almost always for me, I, the sales start coming. I start getting people are, you know, visiting, you know, they're at home or visiting people and they want to buy Christmas gifts. So then the sales start coming and usually between Thanksgiving until like mid January, I'm doing really well on eBay. And I know I'm not alone there. A lot of people are. Think of all these billions of people shopping on eBay and they're looking for Christmas gifts. And then when it's after Christmas, a lot of people have gotten gift cards. Um, so they use that on eBay. Sorry guys, I'm just still seeing spots here. <laughs> But I'm trying not to film in the nighttime in the future, but at least there's light. So you guys get geared up for your holiday sales. Any Christmas items you have sitting around your death pile or around your home that you're not using and you want to list, well, get those I'm listed. Now I, I have to go Christmas. sourcing um, tomorrow oh. because I'm actually running low on items to list. And what I had to do is go through my closet and my dresser drawers and all the things that I was storing and clothes I'm not using or don't want anymore. I'm listing them on eBay because I can't not have a day where I can't have a day where I'm not listing. Um, I mean, unless I'm out of town or something, but 
I, I'm listing every day and that's going to ensure me sales. Now, you know, I don't, sometimes I don't list in a week, like one day. Um, I've listed either seven days a week or six days a week. And I, oftentimes I've gotten sales when I'm not listing. So it's not required, but you want to be at least listing every other day and as much items as you can. So be looking for those holiday items when you source or source in thrift stores or estate sales or yard sales. I think people are still having those. Maybe in Florida they are. It's too cold here. It's like 28 degrees. Um, I won't be going to another yard sale till maybe May. <laughs> um, the nice thing about Pendleton, it's we don't get much rain or wind. But we, it, it gets cold. It's colder here than it is when I lived in Portland. But they're getting rain. So I almost would rather it be colder and no rain or, or wind. When we lived in Idaho, there was a lot of windy days. And that was almost as bad as the rain. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, we get a lot of sunny days here. And I'm really happy about that. It wasn't sunny today, but um, most of the days are sunny, even though it's cold out. And... I've been staying toasty warm in my office with my, my heater going. So, um, all right, you guys, if you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, please do so. If you want to smash that like button, I would so appreciate that. If you want to share what I'm sharing with you to help somebody else, great. I love that. I appreciate all of those that view um, my, my videos. And if you have subscribed, I'm so appreciative, guys. I just, I'm gonna keep chugging along, trying to help you, even if I help one person, I'm happy. Um, and I'm still growing, and I'll pass on anything I learn on my resale journey to you guys. So stay positive, just get out there, get that stuff purchased or, or got around your home, got. Uh, picked up for in your home get those listed and get those sales going you guys can do this all right i will talk to you next time see you later bye, -bye.